Hi everyone. So after a long time, again I started uploading one development series. So this development series, you will learn how you can create your own APIs. So this own API, how you can develop. So for that activity, I want to use one product that is WSO2. So it's a uh, API integration product. It have uh, multiple features and multiple application. So this series. I will explain you how you can use WSO2 API Manager. So this API Manager is what actually. So this is like uh, one type of application. Just example, you uh, created one API. How you can expose that one? We need one environment, right? So for exposing our API, this is the product where we can expose our API and how we can ensure our API is secure. So for this activity, there is one. Uh, they have. build already one authentication process they have one access token we can use that one so for more details this is one official website of their product like as they have mentioned this is the platform for building integrating and exposing the digital services in digital apis they have also two type of thing one is cloud on premises and one more is also their hybrid architecture So this series, I will explain you on premises how you can use on premises uh, setup and how you can expose your own APIs. So it is easy to learn also. Those who are new to this video, kindly go to this channel and subscribe this one. So you will get multiple uh, technical videos. So it will helpful for your future. So this is one type of application. Second application. This is one more one more product also, which is provided by WSO2. That is WSO2 Enterprise Integrator. So this video I will use six point six point zero. They already uh, implemented one more uh, features WSO2 Enterprise Integrator. That is seven point one point zero. So this is the latest version of this EI. EI means Enterprise Integrator. so what we need to use for using this one so this tool we are using for like uh, just example you, cre you created one api how you can use that one so this is the product like where we need to upload our source code and upload our uh, our apis for using that one i'll explain you like uh, how you can use in your real time application so this is like two step this is for exposing api this is for uploading our api for using that one but how we can build our api so for that activity we have one application so for java like uh, we are using eclipse and vs code or other uh, application all there but for this uh, product they have one own their uh, development tool that is enterprise integrator sorry integration studio so this integration studio they are, we are using for creating apis like uh, on example uh, how we are developing source code we have our pycharm or vs code or sublime text or we have one eclipse right so for that kind of activity we are using that one but for this kind of development sql or uh, wso2 development they have their own application that is integration studio so uh, first of all like uh, let's complete the installation process so we can go one by one so uh, how you can do like uh, i'll upload this uh, git url in comment box or our description box you can able to get that one you just bit scroll down it's uh, easier like to uh, use that one and uh, the installation process also very easier so if you see below they have multiple assets So first of all, you need to download this file, zip file. It's only four hundred fifty nine MB. And the second one, double S to enterprise integrator. If you scroll below, they have already added their direct link. The asset also you can see here. So that asset you need to download this one. Okay. So it only five hundred twelve MB. This is second application. Third application, it's in integration studio. this is the development tool if you scroll down if you are using windows so you can use this one like this uh, 3280x 
you can even uh, use this one in 64 bit also and those who are using mac os they can able to use this too and those who want to use uh, linux they can download this one so uh, it's only download one zip file and for uh, just example like you downloaded this one and uh, api manager and you downloaded ei also and you downloaded this integration studio after you develop your own api how you can use that one that is the question so we have one more application it have uh, in uh, internet you can able to find multiple open source so this is one easier uh, open source application that is postman so postman like uh, he can able to consume their api means consume your own api after develop so this is one link also this four link i will add in a description box those who want to uh, really want to use this one so kindly go through this link and explore uh, more about it so you will get some more idea at least you have to learn like how to use this product and how you can expose and how you can build your own apis so already i uh, i don't want to waste your time already downloaded that four uh, zip file here if you see here this four uh, zip file just do one thing just unzip one by one Simply, it's the, this process is very easier. I think everyone aware about uh, how to unzip. So I don't want to uh, make this video long. Like uh, better, I'll skip this process. So those who are uh, really want to complete this series, they can able to uh, build their own APIs. And I'm damn sure like those who want to complete this whole series, at the end of this series, like uh, they can make easily make their own project. Basically, those who are watching this uh, pro means video from college student or any uh, corporate. So after end of the series, I'm damn sure like they can able to make their own APIs. And those who are, uh, it's not only uh, building API, you will learn step by step process. And basically, uh, this video, like I want to uh, share this one to everyone. So those who are watching also, they can able to share this video to their colleagues or they are uh, like uh, near to their place also, they can able to share. So it's not only learning purpose, but also you can able to know how you can use this product, how you can build your own APIs. That's the motive of this video. <coughs> and uh, after extracting that one, I think you can able to see uh, this kind of folder. So make sure like uh, the proper way you need to extract. So same way let me extract EI also. Let me extract here. So meanwhile uh, let me explain you a few more thing. So uh, the prerequisite side of this one like API manager or EI. So if you scroll down, you can see how to run here, right? So this option, it is mentioned already like the prerequisite. So we need Java. The version also mentioned here, right? So you can able to um, install 21 or the lower version, which you want to use for stable activity. And after you install this one, you need to do the setup. So as we already know, like uh, there is one uh, after installing java we need to do as a environment variable setup so if you go through uh, your windows or mac os or linux so i'll tell you like uh, i am using windows so i think those who are using windows i think they can they know already this option you can search environment variable go to advanced there is an environment variable option is there right so here what we need to do you need to in system variable in system variable just create one uh, field like this way just create one variable name java home and that value you can add like this way okay so after adding this one how you know like uh, java is installed or not you have any uh, command prompt or powershell anything you can use so just search like java so if you enter java you are able to get some this kind of features this kind of uh, syntax you are able to get right so that means java already running in your machine but how you know what kind of version so just search java hyphen 
version. If you enter this one, you can able to see what is the Java version you are using. So this one is 11.0.26. This is one stable version I can fill all my installation process with the WSO2. Those who want to use, they can use this version also. Or else latest version also you can use for uh, your development activities. So same for like EI. So as per their uh, instruction you can see right. Integration runtime. So uh, the supporting for Java JDK 11. So they are saying for uh, WSO2 Enterprise Integrator. Just use Java 11. So uh, here they are mentioning install version 21. So better approach like use 11 on JDK 11. So this you can able to use for both product, one for API manager product and one for uh, WSO2 EI product. And this is like the sample process like I don't want to explain this one because this is the same like uh, for installing your integration studio. Let me extract here. So this is like very installation process is very easy. I think even you can also able to do by your side. This video for making like uh, I don't want to make you confused like in on going forward you can able to see like uh, this product at least we use for our development activities. So uh, This video at least I can uh, explain you like uh, because if I make this video it will be like a very long video. Let's break one by one. So this video like uh, at least we know what product we used. And in upcoming video, like the second part of this video, I will explain you the each step by step installation process. Because if I explain now, it will take some more time to make you uh, confuse or make you like this video as a long part of this video. So it's uh, <coughs> better like I will, uh, this video lets me complete these features. So in second part of this video, I will explain you the installation process. Okay. So as you already aware like uh, this product we are using for uh, developer develop means exposing our APIs and you have uh, four layer developer layer means dev portal, publisher portal, carbon portal and admin portal. So and this product WSO2 EI product we want to use for uh, uploading our uh, source code like uh, our dot see uh, after developing that file the extension is dot car file okay so let me type here so maybe it is easier for you api manager it have uh, four layer one for dev portal one for uh, publisher portal and one for carbon portal and one for uh, admin portal ok this is for api manager for ei we have one portal that is carbon portal ok so i'll tell you the overview so this dev portal we are using for exposing our api okay so this is for publishing api so this carbon portal we are using for management console i will explain like upcoming video i will explain step by step process management console then the admin portal we are using for managing admin activities i will explain like uh, what is admin activity and what is carbon portal uses and what is publishing api how we can publish our own api how we can expose our own api it's very interesting activity like you will learn one by one carbon portal like you can upload upload your uh, source code it's not only upload see uh, it have multiple features you can do schema validation schema validation and you can use for XSLT validation you can use your secure vault that is used for uh, encrypting uh, 
not encrypting that you can use for adding your uh, secure password there are multiple things like uh, you can use for ei so we we'll learn like how we can develop our api how we can expose our api how we can use the api in real time application and integration studio like as i mentioned like uh, we want to use for studio so this one we are using for creating creating own api okay so this one like very uh, easier like uh, to learn that one so just wait for uh, step by step process i think this is also unzipped on right so this thing already done like so upcoming video we will complete uh, one by one approach how we can install api manager how we can install ei i think this postman i think everyone hour i don't want to waste this waste of your time you can easily uh, do this activity so this video at least uh, i think this much i think this is fine because it may make this video for installation process it will take uh, a long time to uh, watch and it will make you bore also so thank you everyone those who are watching for this video kindly share this uh, youtube channel to your colleagues and your friends and your uh, neighbor also so those who want to really uh, want to use this video like in your real time application and in your college project also so maybe it will helpful uh, for you so kindly subscribe share and uh, like my video so it will motivate me for uh, making more videos in future so thank you so much